Skull City, Elm Universal. Death is the least of your problems. Enthusiasm. I'm going to bring up a uh, writer and director of this gory supernatural opus, Mr. Brian Polito. Come on up to the stage, sir. <laughs> as well as the star of The Graves, Claire Grant. <laughs> the one and only Bill Mosley. <laughs> and actors and producers Brian and Dean Ronalds. Uh, the printed comic book page to the screen. I always wanted to make a movie. So I took a lot of what I had liked writing about. Women coming into power, female warriors, ugly monsters, and threw them into the story. Sorry. And threw them into the story. Talk about the pre-production process as far as uh, casting up such a film. I mean, there's certainly some gratuities. I I'd like to pass that over to my... Uh, co-producers, Ronald's brothers, they could talk a little bit about casting. Uh, casting process. Toss it. Oh, you know, um, we thought, you know, what better folks to bring along into a Brian Plato picture than, you know, horror icons like Bill Mosley, um, and Tony Todd, and our favorite Amanda Wiss, who was Tina of Nightmare on Elm Street. The narrative is really physically challenging um, on everybody involved in the cast, particularly Claire. Uh, maybe you want to talk a little bit about that. I mean, when you first read the script, did you uh, realize how demanding it was actually going to be? I mean, you're shooting out in the desert, and it's uh, I mean, the whole movie is a chase continual movie. chase. Yeah. Yeah. I did, actually. That was part of why I liked it. I wanted to run around and kick ass and sweat all day. <laughs> I can see that. Um, throwing this over to Bill. He's kind of, it kind of comes across your character of Caleb as a really nice clean cut guy to start off with uh, before the madness ensues. Um, coming off the Otis character from The Devil's Rejects, um, I to see you in, in this. There's certain similarities, but there are differences. I was wondering what appealed to you um, about this project. You know, I, I love the script. Um, I love the character of Caleb because uh, there was that at least uh, kind of faint hope at the beginning that I'm you know, playing a decent human being. <laughs> and uh, so that's always fun to fool the public. And uh, it didn't take long for Caleb to uh, actually show his true self, which kind of comes out in, the, in his nose. I won't give it away, but uh, if you look on the either corner of the stage here, you kind of get the idea. And uh, yeah, and I, I just, you know, in my, you know, my normal Bill Mosley life, I, I love to chase hot chicks around with a sickle anyway. And so it just, uh, just felt natural, like a natural extension. Plus I was getting paid and I uh, was getting to uh, enjoy the, uh, the desert of, uh, 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 is it Northern Arizona? No, that's like mid, like mid Central, Central Arizona. Uh, where I had actually gone, when I was a kid, we used to go like about five miles from where we shot uh, to a dude ranch and ride horses to escape the uh, winters of Chicago. So it was like, for me, it was like being home too. That was like, a, like an added bonus. And it was fun to work with these guys and it was fun just to uh, you know, rip it up. And um, I hope you like my, uh, my Crispin Glover comb over. How many days was the shoot? Uh, we shot 16 days. In a in a uh, old abandoned haunted gold mine town, so you know it would every day brought new mysteries to the set. Did you tell them? I actually um, in in my room in the hotel that I was at, the the lamp that was by my bed was unplugged. But um, when when I woke up in the middle of the night once because the light suddenly turned on, I went to like it was confusing to me because I knew that it was unplugged. And then when I went over to go like turn it off, it was it was still unplugged but on, and it was really scary. <laughs> so how was it working with Tony Todd on this production? Yeah, he just took over, man. He loved it. And it was funny. One thing that he said to me when you finally see the movie, he is just bigger than life. Old Testament reverend who really believes this twist, twisted logic and what he's doing is helping his people. Uh, of course, it's not. It's just costing people their lives. But he believed in this completely. And uh, he told me, he said, um, early on, he's like, you know, Brian, I, I really don't want to play this like Robert Mitchum and Night of the Hunter. You know, I think I'm going to go bigger. And when you really, you finally see it, he has some, <laughs> bigger, and he has some bravura scenes. 
very yeah, good. Yeah, towards the end of the movie. I, for us, he was awesome. And, you know, he's remained a supporter of the film, a good friend. And, you know, he uh, got a gig last minute or he would have been happy to be here. Will there be a theatrical release of The Graves? All that is wonderfully unknown. We literally just finished the movie, so we're out to distributors now. So anything could happen, folks. Uh, you know, particularly if you're buzzing about it, you dig this film and you see it later, you know, that kind of buzz really does help us. So uh, the actual answer is, I have no idea. Our game, though, is we'd love to be theatrical, of course. But uh, yeah, more to come. Anyone? Don't be shy. The clock is ticking. You know, we were discussing it, and there, uh, to tie into however the movie's released, there's likely to be a number of licensed things. So there'll be a Graves prequel, a uh, comic, and we know for sure we have a soundtrack, lobby cards, um, more stuff coming. You know, because of my background with the comics, I mean, for me, it's never just a comic. It's a comic, it's a button, it's a t-shirt, it's an action figure, it's just the way it goes. So, yes, more stuff coming. I certainly see the tie-in of the Graves with Lady Death uh, in the beginning. Which is pretty awesome, by the way. I'm like, I love this already. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, well, uh, in regards to the theatrical, you might have to wait, but you won't have to wait too long to see it because it's playing next door at 6.30. Yeah. Thank you so much.